that purchase no substitute. Take gift sets and create expressions of love with Pandora Tree. Oh, it's 8 a.m. today. It's Friday, payday. It's the weekend. Still working both days on Saturday and Sunday. Whatever. Get some cardio in. Gonna do a full day in the life vlog for you guys. Typically start off my morning with cardio on my spin bike. And also a little bit of YouTube. <laughs> Watching Christian Guzman right now. Gonna do this one a little bit differently. Gonna do a little bit more of a film style, I guess. Kind of inspired by some filmmakers, so I'm gonna do a new style of video. If you guys enjoy it, sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. What do you know? A Lamborghini and Christian Guzman's video on his vlog. <laughs> She's just gonna kill me. <laughs> I have one of those mornings where I like, I'm just tired. I mean, I slept well last night, I did cardio this morning. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, I'm out of it. I forgot to film me going in to get my juice, but every morning I always get something from the Bird Rock Surf Shop or known as Seaside Smoothie. I haven't drank anything yet. Wow, that's intense. I don't want to back into anybody. Typically get some kind of like juice with beets in it. Something that has like a really good, not like a cleanse, but just kind of gets really good nutrients into your system. If I eat anything like oatmeal or protein powder, my metabolism goes crazy and I'm starving so quickly and I, I don't like that. Another beautiful day in San Diego. I'm over here in Bird Rock. If you guys ever stop by here, make sure you check out Seaside Smoothie right there. Hello, jeez, Seaside. Really good place, I highly recommend it. They have really good food, they have really good drinks, they have good smoothies. On my way to work right now, trying to wake up. We all fall off track sometimes and we have to find our way back on. At some point you have to look at yourself and say, okay, this is enough. I was eating so much bad food and feeling terrible every day and not getting my work done that I needed to get done. So I started eating healthier. I decided not to go back to the whole like chicken and rice every day, 14 protein shakes, doing cardio for half an hour on the Stairmaster. I just, I stopped training with all my trainers I had, all my coaches, and I decided to just do it on my own. It's not only saving me a lot of money, but it's also making me feel a little bit more accountable and teaching me more about relying on myself rather than having to pay someone to do it for me. It feels good to start doing that now. I think the main thing that I'm trying to do now is just take baby steps, not going into it with like, training twice a day and, and having to eat chicken and rice all day every day. It's more so of just like, okay, I'm not working out right now, I'm just doing light cardio at my house. Thankfully I have a spin bike and then I just, I eat better. So I changed my breakfast into having the juice now, uh, only two Quest Bars a day, and I'm back on my meal prep. So I have Anthony from Lean Machine doing all my meals for me, which I am hoping I'm gonna be a part of his team soon. I may be working for him uh, in mid-February at some point, but We'll see how it goes. But as of right now, quick update for you guys. Uh, it's Friday, I'm not sure what I have planned for work today. I do have to do some follow-ups with a few customers. Uh, I have to come in over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday for uh, hopefully I'm selling a car tomorrow. Really special car. I have a client coming in at 10 a.m. from LA. Sunday I have a Super Bowl party at work that I'm shooting and then back to work again. So I've been in my office for like 20, 22 days in a row now, which I don't mind. It's pretty fun. I'm, I'm actually getting a lot done. I feel very productive. I have a lot of momentum going right now. That's it, I smogged my car yesterday, pretty exciting. So I got, I have to wait for my new tags because mine are expired, don't tell anybody. And uh, that's about it, so we'll see what the day brings. I do have to do a Periscope session today for work. So I'm gonna pick a car, probably an Aventador or something fun uh, to do a Periscope on. I'll bring you guys along for that. There's one thing I don't mind about driving to work. <laughs> it's my commute. I'm only eight minutes from my work, so it's, it's super nice. I don't mind at all. Look at that juice just beaming in the sun of just nutrition and vitamins. And what do you know? We got the detail shop. I was there yesterday. I got my car detailed, which was very exciting for me. I never ever take care of my Audi. I feel bad, I'm so sorry, but got my car fully buffed and detailed interior exterior and it feels so much better. 
Oh, I wish I could park in the sun. I'm sure you how clean my car is. I think I have a meeting in just a minute. You're already in my video, Tony. <laughs> he doesn't like being on video. This is my office. <sighs> I'm currently backing up all of my computer right now because I have, I think, about 69,000 photos. I'm trying to test out a new tripod that I have. See, that could, yeah, dude. I mean, that's not gonna stay still when you're driving. Yeah, it's not stable. Is it all on how you, well, uh, so yeah, we'll see you uh, probably around 1.30. You want to get that performante? Okay. What do we have here? What's up, guys? How are you? Good. I think it's pretty crazy. Always something special like Grand Prix Classics right next door. I'm trying to pull out some cars right now. Look sketchy carrying a freaking board around. Press the button. Oh, Wraith right there. Oh, that's Cruz. Can't find it? It's in the middle next to your window switch. You see it? Yeah. Going. You got like five more feet. Keep going, keep going. All right, right there. Okay. Made it over to 
KI Studios. If you're not familiar with KI Studios, they're another branch of Protective Film Solutions. You may have seen him in my last Cars and Coffee video. I did a little clip on uh, Kyle, but we'll check out a race car that we're wrapping here. Looks nice, dude. I haven't seen it in a while. What's the shape? Look at this. What's up, What's up nice. dudes? What's going on? Just tear this Lambo apart. This thing looks tight. <laughs> This looks really good in satin, dude. This is crazy. Look different than the one in the showroom? A little bit, a yeah, little yeah. darker. What's up, Kyle? How are you, bro? Okay. Good to see you. Damn, this thing is crazy. This thing is so sinister and matte black, dude. You're saying the same thing. Holy crap. We have the real size of the showroom. We have the whole showroom cleared out because we have an event on Sunday. But I'm waiting for the race car to get down here because I have someone coming to look at it tomorrow. Got new tires on it, fix the passenger window. It's a Pirelli Edition Aventador that we have. This one's a gloss black on the bottom with a matte black on the top. Has a gloss black mirrors, which looks pretty cool. The contrast is really nice on it. I shot this car just last week, so you may have seen some pictures of it on my Instagram. They have a Rosso Mars Ventador Coupe. Personally, for me, I would do black calipers or red calipers. You can see here the wing is up right now, too. I love that look. This car, I don't know. I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> Only a few people know what it is. But if you can, comment below and tell me what you guys think this could possibly be. Post on Instagram and so many people were texting me and saying, what the hell is it? Well, you may never know. It's a giallo yellow Huracan Coupe. I would do black wheels, yellow calipers, but looks really good. Tinted windows too. It's a 458 that we have. Uh, it was wrapped on the roof and on the hood in satin black. Red calipers with black wheels. Tinted windows, all red interior too. I'm sorry, it just has black interior with the red seat belts on it. Really clean spec. It feels so weird, so empty in here. McLaren 12C Spider here with orange calipers, has the orange mesh interior. Looks pretty good. Of course, the GT3 RS that we've had for a little. It's the loudest car I've heard. Has GMG headers, GMG exhaust on it, the red roll cage. Um, if you look at my previous videos, you can see and hear it, but I don't know if this will do any kind of justice for it. Sounds really good. It's a 09 LP560, orange Huracan coupe with orange interior, and then another Pirelli. 
This time this one has the matte white with the gloss roof on it with all carbon fiber everywhere too. It has a front carbon splitter, front carbon surround, and the matte paint looks really good too. This is a coupe. The other one was a roadster. All carbon fiber engine bay. And a red 458 with HRE's tan interior. This one's priced really well too. I think this one's priced at like 179. Go check out some other cars. This Rolls Royce is my favorite one that we have. This is a drop head coupe black black with ADV1 wheels. They are huge. Red drop head. I can't get enough of this thing. So baller. Got the Rolls Royce showroom, the Bentley showroom. Old school Rolls Royce Court Niche. Let's see what's in the parking lot. We had to clear everything out because we have about 150 people coming on Saturday. I'm sorry, on Sunday. Nice wraith there. Huracan maybe selling that thing. Uh, okay. A couple of Lambos. Mulsanne. Here's a slant nose. This thing's really cool. I'll have to do a video on this soon because it's a really cool classic car. I don't know much about them, but I'm going to study a little bit and do a video for you guys. And in my previous video, I did a whole vlog on this a review. Really, really cool spec. And you got a Manzuri Wraith, which looks really good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tour. I'm going to go wait for this race car to show up. Yo! You got my race car? You want to drive this thing in? Zigzag it, yeah. Okay. Are you getting your little video going? Here we go. Let's do this. Tony's so loud, dude. I haven't been sorry in my videos where you hear him like screaming. <laughs>
Thing's a little bright, dude. Side now. Looks good. What's that? What'd you get? Wow, dude. Dude, every time I stare at Dude, that's like the perfect sunset. Dude, it's recording. <laughs> you taking a picture of the picture. <laughs> Another good day at work. That sunset was awesome. I forgot to show you guys my car. Look at how shiny it is. The wheels are actually gray. And it's clean. I haven't had this thing clean in forever. Oh, it's so hot in my car. Come on, camera angle. Sometimes my headlights don't like to work because I have aftermarket HIDs, which I cheaped out on, which I really shouldn't have. Or shouldn't have. Come on, turn on. There we go. Let's hope that stays there. Let's see what happens. So now it is currently 5.30. I don't like this angle, hold on. Okay, that's better. Uh, typically I work 9.30 to 5.30 every single day and I have a ton of events this weekend, as in just one <laughs> on Sunday. I have a customer coming in tomorrow which I have to see him at 10 a.m. So I got his car ready for him. Now I get to go home and relax because I am pretty tired. I didn't sleep too well last night. Let's see if that camera stays there. Cool, kind of does. But this is the drive I love because look at that view. The same view we had over on the roof, but from the street level. The sunset is absolutely gorgeous right now too. This is Marine Street. That's a place that I shoot at. If you guys see a lot of my pictures, which I hope you guys do, that's where I shoot a ton of cars. I think the spot where I parked is where the dealership is. And if you go down the alleyway, one block, that's where Marine Street is. A really cool place to shoot cars because you have the ocean as the background. That might actually work. That's a good camera angle. I'm stoked on that. So right now, we are currently on the corner of Loyal Boulevard and Pearl Street, which is the, dealer sh the street that the dealership is on. And here is O'Gara Coach La Jolla. That's where I spend about 80% of my life. So that's the outside of it as you drive by. That's my old office right there. And now we're on the Hoy Boulevard. And we're back to Marine Street. So I basically, I don't take that route too often. This vlog has turned into a very long vlog. I did not expect to film this much. And I didn't technically even have a car to shoot today. I was really busy with a lot of client phone calls that I had, uh, a lot of follow-up emails. I never really said too much in my previous vlogs or on my Instagram. But if you follow me on Facebook, you may have seen some of the posts that I've made. I don't do a lot of what I used to do. I'm doing a lot of sales now, so I'm very focused on selling cars. Uh, we hired another photographer, as you've seen in my previous videos. If you haven't, we have another guy on board. He is now the creative photographer, so anything that's like 
unique for magazine ads or social media or just producing really freaking cool photos, he's the guy that will be producing that for us. I completely lost track of where I was going because this girl is crossing the street and I'm blocking traffic. Okay, so now there's another person I want to bring up right now, which is, I think is extremely important for you guys to know about. So again, Casey Neistat, if I'm pronouncing that right. Follow the guy on YouTube. Guy has 2 million subscribers. He is the most creative, unique, crazy guy I've ever seen on YouTube. He has his own warehouse that is in New York City. He skateboards. He is a father, he's married, he's a really cool dude. He's like 32 from the last vlog that I saw. Uh, we are passing the detail shop right now. He produces these cool videos and the reason why I'm such a big fan is because of the fact that he's a film producer. So he never went to school for it, but he was involved with TV media from what I know. And he's very skilled with editing, with filming, does a lot of cool time-lapse stuff, which has inspired me to do more of that. That's why you saw two clips in this video, or three or four of whatever I did, of time-lapses. And they, they really make the video unique. He puts music in his vlogs. Go over to his channel, Casey Neistat, N-E-I, I don't know how to spell it. I'll put it right here so you can see how to go to his channel. He's inspired me to take my vlogging to the next level because he's so intricate and spends so much time on editing and making sure that his audience enjoys his videos and that's what I want to do like he prioritizes YouTube and that's what I want to do I want to prioritize YouTube a lot more and make you guys priority it's very strange because I have a camera on my dashboard yeah I'm talking to you directly so it's it's a different concept it's unique but I love it I love doing the YouTube series it's a lot of fun I love producing these videos Maserati but yeah we'll see what the what the new year brings I'm, I'm really hoping that with this whole prioritization that I have going for YouTube that I really can make some cool videos for you guys to watch. It's fun. Let me run you through a basic day. As you saw, I woke up, did some cardio. That's three to five times a week. A few months ago, I would have gotten up at five, I would have gone to the gym, I would have lifted, I would have done some kind of compound movement, chest, bench, squat, then I would do cardio after. After doing that for so long, I got really burnt out. So now, Wake up at seven, do cardio. I watch YouTube videos. As you saw, I was watching Christian Guzman this morning. He's a good friend of mine now. Very, very cool guy, very inspiring. Uh, I'm about to go around some roundabouts and bird rock, so bear with me, because I don't know if my camera's gonna stay on, but luckily we're going 13 miles per hour. I don't eat food in the morning. I used to every single day, but I got so... God, dude, I always forget to turn off my phone when I have it hooked up to my, my Bluetooth. I have two 12s in here and I have like mids and highs and all this crazy audio stuff. A year ago when I bought the car, I was super into subwoofers and I don't know, I digress. I don't eat because I get very, very hungry if I eat early in the morning. I try to fast for a good amount of time until I get cranky. But I've been juicing as you guys saw and it's been really good. I actually really like juicing, it's not bad. Not steroids. Uh, and then I'll get to work about 9.30 every single day and my morning usually starts off with, as you saw, emails, uh, updating all the Facebook pages and updating all the Instagram accounts, which means it's roughly around 15 different accounts that I'm updating. And what, what it would consume of it is different brands. So Lamborghini, Bugatti, Rolls Royce, Bentley, O'Gara Coach, O'Gara Performance. And then before I get to work or on my lunch break, I'll actually update all the pages that I'm personally paid for to do advertising for. Now there's different pages that I work for and there's more pages that I'm actually taking on. So in total, it's about 15 to 16 pages right now that I run, um, not including my own stuff. I have a bunch of other companies that I've been managing for everything online and it, you, you find your rhythm of when to post and when to figure out, okay, I need to prioritize this, I gotta post something for this, you know, my, this is how I'm making my extra income and that's how I make some of my extra money. I don't share it too often but I do post for some other companies, uh, I manage their accounts. So I'll post for them in the morning, I'll post for my work when I get to work and then basically the layout of my day really honestly depends on what I have in front of me. So sometimes we may get like five brand new Bentleys that come in from the port, which means they're all new cars that we ordered for inventory that need to be photographed and need to be put online. So what I would do is like, let's say if those cars came in all at once, I would go to my service center. If you're not aware of what that is, go to my previous vlogs, watch some of my stuff. You'll see that the service center is where I photograph all the cars that we get. We have all the car service there. I do a ton of photo shoots there. It's where we have our cars and coffee. Today, for instance, I didn't have any cars to shoot. So what I would do is I would go find a way to kind of kill some time, which would be productive, not just sitting there. So I'll go on WordPress. I'll change the layout of the website. I'll change a 
you know, a, a new picture for the website. I'll go on YouTube and I'll upload some videos I made of walk around tours of a Corvette we had or a 458 or an Aventador SV, whatever it is, just to have filler content to send out to customers or to post online. Typically after posting on Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, it takes me about two to three hours. In between that, there's always a distraction. Oh, hey now, uh, today I helped out one of my friends who I work with, he's our porter, one of them, um, just moved a bunch of cars. He started about two weeks ago. He's been working with cars for a while, being a valet and, and doing some stuff with other dealerships. But, you know, when you're working with very expensive cars, you want to be as careful as you can. See, I'm getting distracted now. Cause st what are you Sorry, guys. Oh! <laughs> Saved it! Holy crap. Sorry about your volume if you're wearing headphones. After that, we had, we went over to KS Studios to check out the race car. We had that thing wrapped. Um, it's one of two race cars that we have that we ran in the championship races that we won in with the Super Trofeo Series, thanks to Richie Antonucci, because that guy freaking kills it when he races. Yeah, we did that. We went over there, did some photo shoots. I did the video for you guys. I got some pictures for our Instagram account. I was gonna do a Periscope session. You guys may not, or you may follow me on Periscope, but I do live questions answered or live Q&As for the dealership. And that account's been building. It's been really fun doing that because we get really cool people. So I was gonna do that, but unfortunately I didn't have any car that I could take. I didn't have anything that was accessible. So I showed you guys a tour and worked on my computer a lot. Uh, I caught up on so many emails that I had, a ton of phone calls, and basically just set myself up for uh, a productive week when I go, when I go on next week. Even though I have to work tomorrow morning, I don't know, I'm gonna go in at 9.30, 10 o'clock maybe, and then who knows when I'll leave, I have a customer coming in, so it could be a whole day thing, or it could just be a few hours. And Sunday I have an event, and then I'm back to work on Monday, so I don't really technically get a weekend off, but I do get tomorrow midday to go home and chill. That was basically my day, you guys. I am currently pulling into my driveway right now. I am very, very hungry because I did not eat my normal meal. I had to eat a bunch of Quest bars and I had like a chicken wrap because I was on the go. But I have a Nintendo 64 in my room that has not been touched yet or hooked up and I have Zelda and I really, really want to play. So I'm gonna go in my house, I'm gonna hook that up and I freaking hope I have a package waiting for me at my door because one of them got denied because I need a signature because it was a little expensive. Hopefully these ones are there. Hopefully they were signed for. But let's go see if my packages are there. Oh, my package is not here. My hand is stuck. I can't. I'm stuck. Get out of here. I am so upset. I was hoping that that package would be here. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna cross my fingers. I do have a mailbox that actually holds all of our packages if we can't sign for them, or if no one's here, or if the delivery man cannot find a place to put it. One thing about the Nikon D750, it's really heavy. This is what I wanna play. I'm gonna play this right now. If you guys can do me a favor right now, and if you guys work why did my voice get so high? If you guys work in an industry where you have to dress up for work, whether it's the car industry, the food industry, whatever it is, and you have to wear dress clothes or some kind of outfit or uniform, go to my video below right now and go to the thumbs up button. Press thumbs up if you love the feeling of changing in to big, comfortable clothes. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and it feels so much better than a freaking dress outfit. But last night, I actually went shopping, finally. I picked up um, a bunch of random things. That's Gibbs' birthday cake, even though his birthday's not until June. I don't know why he has that. I have not seen him in a few days. But I picked up all these yogurts. These things are really good. They're called the Greek 100 Whips. And if you look at the macros on it, I mean, it's it's a little high in uh, carb. I mean, it's 15 carbs. It's not that much in sugars. But nine protein and 100 calories per container. And these are really, really good. My favorite by far is salted caramel or caramel, however the hell you guys want to say it. But the protein's pretty high, and you can always add more. Like, I'll put a little scoop of, like, birthday cake, ISO, or I'll put this one, fudge brownie's pretty good. And then, also, I have BCAs, and the reason why, well, I'm, hold on, let me show you this, too. I bought all these frozen berries. Oh, careful, man. I got blueberries, I got mangoes, I got raspberries, I got a mixture, I got ah! And the reason why is because I saw Joey Swole posted a Snapchat, but he posted a 
Snapchat, come on phone, of him blending BCAs and ice with using that magic bullet. So I'm excited to use this because Gil just got a George Foreman and now I got this for the house. And I'm gonna open that up soon too and make some smoothies. Some of that, some of that. Another thing too that I am so excited about, it's been a tough year for 2015, physically, mentally, all aspects of life. I had to put all my companies on hold and I, I really hate having to do that kind of stuff because I have a lot of fans that love some of my products that I have and I thank you guys so much for that. Um, but I'm really sorry that I've been lagging with Devoted Society and SB Prince, if you guys aren't familiar with it. Chandelier, my high class chandelier. Uh, I sell my photography and I haven't had a chance to really bring that company back to life and I feel really bad about it. I'm working with a new supplier to help me produce my photos again and print everything. And SB Prints will be relaunched for 2016 and I am so happy to finally say that. You see that little thing right there? There's supposed to be keys right here. I took them into Gibbs' car and I left them there. So I can't get the mail and I have something sick that I want to get. I miss that car so much. All right, I need to eat. And wait for Gibbs to get home so I can get the mail key. Now that is cool. Sorry about that rolling shutter. They're making the Koenigsegg wheels for the Regera, or Agera actually, on how it's made. Oh, it's the Koenigsegg 1-1. That's pretty tight. This is going to be a good episode. I've actually seen this one. Good news. Now I just need the key. Hello? What's up? Yeah, just, just call me Picasso, why don't you? Picasso? Just call me Picasso. Why? Picasso. But why? Why am I calling you Picasso? Because uh, I'm just an amazing painter. <laughs> Dude, I had no idea that you were a painter. I'm sorry, bro. I forgot how good your work is. Picasso. Picasso. I'm like Van Gogh, man. Van Gogh. <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh, nothing. I'm just in the... Uh... Painting all day Ferrari. Oh, is that why you're Van Gogh or Picasso? Dude, I'm only happy on video. What? Nothing. Am I on speaker? No, 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 no. Picasso. <laughs> Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you were painting uh, at Ferrari all day? Yes, dude. I was painting a 458. Wow. No, I'm kidding. I was painting. Are you at work? No. Are you at home? Yeah. Oh. Where are you? Um, uh, I'm at home. Oh, yeah, I didn't see you. I forgot you were here. Uh, I'm, I'm Picasso. I have, I have one question for you. What's that? Is the N64 there? Oh! <laughs> Maybe. Yes! 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 <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I, just, I haven't played yet because I've been editing YouTube videos so much. Oh, no, no, no. You haven't played yet because you're waiting on me. I was going to wait for us to film a video of... A reaction of you and I playing like Nostalgia 2.5. Nostalgia. I'm naming my first kid that. <laughs> Dude, that sounds like a really cool like Dungeon and Dragons game. Nostalgia gives. Nostalgia oh. gives, dude. It's a good one. Do we been on the phone for 540? What? 533 now. 543. I think the funniest thing about being friends with someone for like 10 years and having them as your best friend and your roommate. It's really funny because, like, I don't see him during the week because we both have separate rooms and we're both a separate, like, our rooms are separate from each other completely with our bathrooms too. So, like, I come home, I make my dinner, and I go in my room and I edit videos until 10 o'clock at night. And by that time, he's passed out or I'm passing out anyways. But I don't see him during the week. So, every week we go five days without seeing each other. And then, like, Friday, Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, we do, like, we go car spot, we go out and do stuff, we play a ton of video games, we'll go out like play football at the beach or we'll have people over or whatever it is, but it's it's cool because he's been my best friend for so long and like we've gone through so much together that when we when we hang out it's just like we we do the craziest stuff and we literally like have so much fun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> 
Are you okay? No. Guy's almost choked. I did a day in the life vlog, say hi to YouTube. He's gone from work. You too? <laughs> I did a whole day of everything that I did. Uh, all today? Everything. It's I filmed. Ferrari Friday, though. Dude, sorry, it should have been Lamborghini. There's nothing for Lamborghini. Lamborghini Wenzardini. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Scope that box on the counter. On my desk. You see it? You see it to the left. No, no, even with the bike. Right there, right there. Nostalgia, dude. Do you see it? Dude, no, no, no. Get out of my clothes, dude. <laughs> How sick is that, dude? Whoa. I picked up one of the controllers and I was like, oh shit. Like nostalgia. The ultimate nostalgia to me. What? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> dude, that is so true. <laughs> Trying to get them to work because they wouldn't, they're too dirty. <laughs> you know, that's the old Dude, nostalgia. Dude, I remember right that there. so freaking well. God. That is hilarious. We had to buy some more games today. And then freaking like, you, at first, when you first get the N64, you like want to play it like this. But and then you like realize this. you have to do it in the middle, yeah. How's that controller feel, anyways? It's really. Oh. Do you hear like. Yeah. You feel the difference, too. Get this out of here. Did you see Dave Mira? Yeah, dude, I posted on my Instagram. Did you see Katie May? Who's that? A really famous Snapchat, queen of Snapchat. No. Miss Katie May. What happened? Died. How'd she die? Um, uh, 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 like seizure or something. Oh. Intense though, she was only 34. And like, I followed her on Snapchat, she just had like a really- I treated myself because I recently sold a Lamborghini Huracan. <laughs> that is sick. All I can say is that I got some new watches for myself. I'm a huge watch connoisseur. I love them. They get very expensive, but I found some really cool ones I like a lot. It's a cool little present to myself. Uh, I'm very happy with them. Oh, dude, you changed it right when I went up to it. <clears throat> Is it over? Their voices are so funny. <laughs> His hair. Audi. So unfortunately, I did not have a chance to record a final clip for you guys on my real camera. This is off of my webcam on my Mac. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who's made it this far in the video. I know it was a little bit long, but if you made it to this point, thank you so much for the support. Uh, these videos are so much fun to make. I love doing it. I'm really gonna prioritize YouTube more as you saw in the previous clips. But if you can, please go to the YouTube channel that I have. And if you're watching this off of Facebook or Twitter or off of any other website, please go directly to YouTube. Um, you can see the link to my channel right here. And please subscribe. You know, I want to do these videos for you guys. It's for your entertainment to show you guys what I go through on a daily basis and also a lot of cool cars that I shoot and some events I go to and any kind of personal life to work life. I want to share it with you guys. I'm open for it. So please follow me on Instagram at that photographer. I post every single day. If you don't already follow me, please check it out. And uh, if you have any ideas for me, leave some comments in the comment box below. I'm willing to collaborate with any YouTube people out there, anyone who's in the industry. And, uh, you know, I have nothing else but to say thank you. I, it, I really do appreciate you guys watching this, and uh, I, I really hope that I can keep doing this for you guys and, and make YouTube a new part of my life. But once again, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a nice day. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.